Okay, I am trying to understand one of the great mysteries of the universe, Mercedes vacuum system. What we have all taken apart here is the vacuum modulator valve out of the uh, 603 turbo diesel engine. And the way this works is on the side of the injection pump, this is hooked up to the throttle linkage. So as you depress the throttle, this spring moves up, pushes this piece up, which pushes on this piece, which pushes this up, and then this is the cap. You have a vacuum supply. I've got this hooked up to just a, an air conditioning vacuum pump for a constant source. And then this port here where this gauge is, is what goes off to the transmission. Inside of this piece, if I get this apart, there is a little uh, orifice in this, like a flat piece. There's this plastic piece which sits in this spring, then this sits in this piece, Oops. and then this goes into here and it, the rubber piece caps this off. So let me, this is just a retainer, and then this rubber seal goes against this surface in here and against this surface here. So if I set this on here, this is how it goes in the car. Oh, and there's one other part. There's a, uh, this spring sits in here pushing this whole piece away. So if I, this is a little tricky to do by hand. But if I leave it set like that and hold the seal on, you can see we've got about 10 inches of mercury, which is what the car does at idle. And then as you push the throttle linkage, that pushes on this and gives you less and less vacuum until you push it down. And then that little spring actually uh, Oh, there we go. I was covering it. It the little spring will uh, totally cover the metal pipe on the inside of this, shut off all vacuum. You can see this is it responds very quickly. So, and I also know that if I pull it out, I can get more vacuum. And I want like this much when it's sitting at idle, not that much. And the thing is, I do not understand how this works. There's not enough pieces in it. <laughs> um, I don't know if it's, like I don't, I don't understand how, how this piece moving over this, this metal pipe regulates vacuum. I do know that it vents through this, it vents the vacuum off through this hole, which then goes into the case of the valve, which is connected to this, which just runs back to the interior of the car as a vent. I'll put a link in the description to uh, where somebody took one of these things apart. But, uh, if anyone has any insights into how this thing actually works and how I could adjust it such that at no no input this part is doing or is giving more vacuum I would appreciate it. Um, Mercedes wants about $300 for one of these valves and I uh, 
I don't really want to spend spend that much on one of these. Almost makes me wonder if, uh, if I can just uh, file these edges down so that this moves out slightly more because it uh, if I take this back apart carefully so that the little spring doesn't fly away because I'll never find it there's this collar piece which has a, uh, a step and this this piece sits inside of it. So maybe all I need to do is file the edges of this this down, but I'm hesitant to make any changes because I don't have a spare one of these valves. And if I screw it up, I'll be out of luck. So uh, yeah, if you have any ideas, please, uh, please let me know. What I've discovered is that this piece moves like this was uh, not against its stock. Jeez, dogs are going crazy. And that this spring, which was one of the originals out of the B1 piston in the valve body of that car, fits inside the original spring, fits in here, and if I can squash all this together, 15 inches at idle, and it still goes right to zero when you uh, when you push it in. So, yeah, I think that might do exactly what I want. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the car like this. Uh, it's a reversible modification, and uh, we'll go from there. Um, Thanks for watching.